Welcome back everyone and today is going to be a quick tutorial again on bringing images into your drawing and scaling them and everything that we can kind of do with images within AutoCAD. Um, so first things first is we got to get the image into the drawing. Now technically speaking images are just references in the drawing um, so what we need to do is really reference it in. Um, so let's go to insert here and let's click on attach. Now when you click attach if you kind of go to the bottom here in files of type, you can see all the files you can possibly bring in. Um, we're just looking for an image file. So you'll see I have one here. It's just a quick map. Um, I'm going to double click on it. And I'm going to leave these both unchecked. So it's going to come in at 0, 0 and scale at only 1, which is fine. Just let it do what it's going to do. And I'm going to hit OK. Now, once this drawing is in here, what we need to do is get a distance to figure out what it is right now and what it needs to be, which is this 81.5. So Let's take a look here. So we're going to go to the Home tab, and we're just going to pull off a quick measurement. So I'm going to do from here to here. And again, that was this measure button, and you just kind of click about. You don't have to be perfect. Um, again, it's this is just kind of just for close, get close enough. Um, so it's 1.2439. So what I like to do is I click that, and I click Copy. Now, um, in one way, shape, or form or another is you need to calculate something now. And uh, I'm going to type in CAL at the command line here and hit enter. And I'm going to do 81.5 divided by that number I just pulled off. Now, this will give me the scale factor that I need to use to properly scale this so that this line is approximately 81.5. So I'm going to type in enter now. And my magic number is going to be this guy right here. So it's 655197. Um, you can keep going if you want to go past and how many decimal places, but um, I tend to only take the four, so I'll take 65.5197. I'll also click copy here, uh, but you'll see in a moment it doesn't really work very well at this point after this. So let's scale. Um, so I typed in scale, but if you're uh, not a typer like I am, you can also find the scale command on the home tab here under the modify panel. You can click scale and then click the image. Now, what it's going to ask you to do is select the base point here. And uh, I'm going to select right here. Now, if you remember what that number all right, sorry about that. And if you remember what that number was, this is where you're going to put that number in. So we had 65.5197. Oops. And again, make sure you type it correct and then hit enter. Now, of course, it's going to get large. And from here, what you can do now is I can pull off another distance. So I'm going to go to measure. I'm going to click from here and click to here. And it's going to be close enough. It's 81.4705. You can sit there and keep tweaking it all you like, but that's probably as close as you're going to get. And again, I'm just kind of willy-nilly just kind of clicking anywhere. So, um, you know, right about there, I bet you I can get it even closer if I kind of paid more attention. Look at that. It's really close now. So again, just get it. You just want to kind of get it close to what you want. Now, once you have that, you can do a few different things with this image. First of all, by clicking on the image, you can turn on background transparency. Now, when you turn on background transparency, you might notice it doesn't look like it's doing anything. Um, sometimes when you do that, you have to pull up properties, which you'll see right here. Now, with properties pulled up, you can easily come over here and you can change the transparency color. So I can hit select and then I can select here and hit OK. Now you'll notice that these lines now are transparent, all that white space. So from here, if I had something under it, like a circle or road, I could lay it over an aerial photo if I really wanted to. Um, also, it also makes it a little bit easier for tracing. So if you wanted to trace over these images, um, I would first do one thing, is I would change my layer. So um, I'm going to leave it on layer 0. That's fine. But one thing I will not want is a white line or a black line on a black line. So I'm going to switch it to something that's going to stand out a little bit more like red. So from here, you can just trace over all the lines. Now, the cool thing about this is uh, if you just kind of go to the nearest here, let's say I wanted to pull off right here. Um, in fact, let's say we wanted to be accurate. You know what I mean? So if we click here and we just hit F8, and I'm going to put myself in this direction, and I'm going to say 81.5. You know, from here, if I didn't know this angle, I can just put myself in this direction and then type in 126.67 and it'll just trace right over that line. Now, you'll notice a few things here. First of all, it's not very good right now. So if you look, 
I'm looking at this right here. It's not exactly lined up. Now you can do a few different things if this really absolutely matters to you. So first of all, let's draw the line in the exact orientation as the image. So I'm just going to kind of line it up there. I'm going to type in 81.5. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come from the end point there and I'm going to type that in. 126.67. So if you look, it kind of goes a little bit past, right? So let's see what we can do about fixing it. So there's another way to scale an image and it's by using a reference. So I'm going to type in scale or click the scale button again under the modify tab and I'm going to scale the image again. Now if that was fine for you and you didn't really care, you could have honestly left this if it was just kind of, you were just kind of creating a cool image to trace. But if it really mattered and distance had to be exactly close, this is what you're going to do. So when you do this, you're going to select a base point. Now I'm going to select this corner here. Now again, that's kind of where I'm moving it from. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit R for reference. So I'm going to select here and you might want to select this end of this line, but you don't. Remember, we're scaling the image. So I'm going to say the image is right about here, right? And I want that to be here. So I'm going to select here and then select the end. And then what it'll do is it'll scale up the image to be almost perfect. Now, of course, this line here is not going to be exact anymore. You're losing a little bit here. This line's exactly 81.5, but it's actually still not too bad if you think about it, if you traced it up this way. So it really just depends. You're going to lose a little bit. It's never going to be exactly perfect. So again, if you had to sit here and kind of keep tweaking this thing left and right, eventually you're going to want to give up because it'll just take you forever. So at one point in time, you're going to have to say, okay, when is close enough? The image will never be perfect. It's always going to be off just by a little bit, um, but if you can get it close enough, you can usually save yourself a lot of hassle. And that's really how you would scale an image in a drawing and make it transparent and work with it. Now, you can also do this for PDFs as well. Um, right now, I'm using a JPEG file. And again, really the important part is making sure it's transparent. Uh, once it's transparent, at least then when you draw a line, you can see it on the image. If not, you have to make sure you change the draw order of the image for it to be correct. And by the way, if you do not know how to change the draw order, the easiest way I find to do it is if you select the image, right click, you'll find draw order under there and you can send it to the back or bring it to the front. So again, if you like this video, press the like. If you love it, subscribe to the channel. You'll get all the updates on when I put new videos up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.